Hi, Jonas at CR Components. Today I'm going to walk you through building the outer gear set for the Torque Hub. This is all the things you're going to need. You're going to need three washers that go underneath the gears, three washers that go over, three snap rings, a bigger snap ring for your sun gear, 60 bearings, three gear posts, three outer planet gears, a sun gear, and your gear plate. Start with the sun gear and the gear plate. When you're putting this on, make sure this outer part, this Audi part, is going down onto the top of the sun gear. It'll slide right on, just like that, giving it room for your snap ring to go right in there. Just kind of press that right in. Just like that, and it'll snap right into place. You can take a flathead screwdriver and double check that it's in there, but this one is sitting in there just fine. And then we'll go straight over to the press. We have this little, this little ring here. I'm gonna set my plate right on. You are gonna need some press tools here. I recommend something flat that's gonna cover the, the entire hole. That way, you, that way when you press your gear posts in, they're not going past the past this hole here. When you're setting these in, I just like to line up this little divot here with the outer. Sort of line it up, back it up, and drop it right down in. I'll take this right over, and then we'll work our way up. Start pressing this one right on down in there. Just like that. It is perfectly flush. We'll go ahead and do the same thing with the other two. And just like that, all posts are perfectly flush and in the plate. Back over to the bench, start getting the gears in. First thing I will do is get these three washers that go under with the tabs. Oops. We'll set them right in place. Instead of just setting the gear straight over the post and getting your bearings in there, I like to set some bearings on there first, but I will hit them with some WD just to kind of get them lubed up. I'll start lining them up around the post. I'm not really going for a specific number, probably about half of the bearings before I throw the gear over top of them. Which I'll show you in a second. The reason I do it this way is because it's a little more tedious trying to get the bearings between the gear and the post. So doing it this way, about half the bearings around the post, it's a little bit easier to line that up and set it right on then I'll put pressure towards the bearings I'll turn it it's okay if some of them move around go ahead and get the rest of them in there like to make sure there's all your bearings in there and once they're all in there we'll go ahead and throw that outer washer over now this one has a tab going inward this will go right into that divot right there on your gear post. And once that's in, we go ahead and throw a snap ring over this gear. And the first one is done. And then we 
we just wash, rinse, and repeat with the two other gears. Our last washer. And the snap ring. And just like that, it's your outer gear set.